watch chaos's lp of it yeah uh he's doing the lp with slyro i think with uh world one he did a world one playthrough didn't he and then he's doing the one with slyro i've seen the game i've definitely seen the game i haven't played it myself though or are we talking about next order i am assuming we're talking about world one because you said world one is the one that hasn't aged well I've watched his uh I've watched his Digimon playthroughs. The only ones I personally played are the Cyber Sleuths, but I've seen like all of his playthroughs mostly. There is two for World One World Two. Yeah, World One, not World Two. There's two for World Two. Yeah, that's what I thought. He had one by himself and he's doing one now with Slyro. Yeah, I, I, I keep up with Chaos's playthroughs. Obviously, I mean, I used to a lot more. Like, obviously, I know what he plays, but I don't get to tune in that much because obviously I'm a streamer now. I used to, I used to like, binge his stuff. Obviously, I, I still, I catch the VODs on playthroughs I like. Like, I catch up on his Fantasia videos on YouTube and uh, Twitch. Definitely. Obviously, I have to, like, catch up on the VODs now. Oh, hey, we're on the first boss, chat. We're only 20 minutes in and we're on the first boss. Let's do Papu Papu. By the way, this boss is like really, really easy. Oh, wait. Okay, I know. I know what to do. All you gotta do is jump on him. I got hit the first time after saying it was easy. Yeah, all you do is this, chat. The bosses in this game, most of them are kind of a joke. The only one I would say is actually, like, not a joke is the final fight. Maybe the second to last one. Or Ripper Roo. Ripper Roo is not... I wouldn't call Ripper Roo a joke. Hey, that was easy. Remember when he was living, chat? I don't. <laughs> yeah, the bosses in Crash 1 are mostly a joke. I feel like Ripper Roo is, like, a, a good fight. We'll get there. Oh, is this the Coco thing? Yeah, Coco's time machine. All right, we'll play as Coco a little bit, honestly. Do I... What? Oh, okay. It wasn't letting me press X. Yeah, I would like her to join. Yeah, I'll play as Coco a little bit. I'm not going to play as Coco for the whole game because, I don't know, I feel like since Crash is... Since Coco is not in the game, it'd be better to... um. Play as Crash for most of it, but we'll, we'll play a bit of Coco. I'll definitely play more of Coco when we play Crash 2 and 3. You know, for now, uh, why not? Suikoden 4 is way worse? Oh, no. Well, I want to play Suikoden 1 and 2 first. I don't know if I'll play 3, 4, and 5. I want to play 1 and 2. Because 1 and 2 are like PS Classics. Oh, we got best girl. There's no Tana. There's no Crash 4 Tana, so. Poco is a solid best girl, though. I do love that she holds her laptop in this game. And in, like, uh, she has, like, a tablet in Crash 4. Man, I don't, I don't dislike Coco's design. I'm just so used to her Crash 4 design. Oh, goodbye. My debt perception. I'm, I'm used to her Crash 4 design, honestly, but... Her, her Crash 1 to... Her Insane Trilogy design is fine. I don't dislike it. But yeah, uh, back to Suikoden. I want to do 1 and 2. I'm not promising I do 3, 4. Oh, now it's, um... Now we have the Embryo ones. I remember the Embryo ones, actually. There's, like, two kinds of bonus levels. Okay, this I have to time. 
There we go. Checkpoint, mine. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, this is a really, this is gonna be a fun stream until we get the high road. Right now, it's just hey, it's a chilled, laid back experience of playing Crash 1. Not having to worry about completing, just casually running through, talking with chat. Assuming if chat wants to AMA, this is like the best time for AMA. Because I'm kind of on autopilot right now. Just a bit. When we get the high road, I might have to actually focus though. That's the second Tana. From worst to best, four, three, one, two, and five. Yeah, I, I remember you mentioning five is like your favorite. Honestly, I'm I'm not promising. I might play five because you say it's your favorite, and that makes me curious. But I want to play one and two first. Plus, I don't even know when I'm gonna play one and two. Hopefully, I can play Sweet in one this year, probably. That's right, the uh, the Digimon thing is today. Right, right, right. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious if they actually. I doubt they'll say anything about survive, but I'm kind of curious. You never know. I was so confused because it was blue, so I thought I was able to go on it. Oh, I missed an embryo? Where? Eh. Again, I'm not 100%ing. I have to I have to put my non-100% mind on because I'm such a perfectionist. Oh, goodbye. Apparently, I didn't reach that ledge. But, um... I also got nervous because that was falling off. Yo, good thing I have 16 lives. I'm gonna need all these lives by the time High Road gets to here. But by the time I should have said it like we get the High Road. Oh, I keep the embryo thing. That's why I had two already. But yeah, I'm so used to not 100%ing every game, but at least trying my best. It's gonna be hard to play this game being like, hey, I'm missing stuff. But on the one hand, Crash 1 to 100% is insane. Oh, Coco, you didn't need your head. Coco, you're gonna break your computer. Why are you using it to cover your head? Just take the hits. One and two is PS1 gold. Yeah, I remember. I know a lot of people say that, which is why... Something in my throat. Which is why I really want to say them. Oh, hey, this is the one I ride the boar. Nice. I remember this level. These are like the polar bear equivalents. Thank you for my checkpoint. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. I have to pass. I have to go around him. I remember. I don't know why I went through him like I could. It was like, hey, I can go through him. I'm really curious how long it's gonna take me to play this. Because I remember I did when I did my playthrough for the first time, it took me a lot longer. Like I'm speeding through these levels a lot faster than I was when I first played the Insane Trilogy. Because I hadn't played the games since I was like 10. So I had Oh, that hit me. I tried to jump. But um I played the games a lot slower because I died a lot more because I had to get used to playing them again because I hadn't played them. Before the Insane Trilogy, I hadn't played them since I was 10. Give or take. I was really young. Oh, Raptor, I see you're talking about Legends Arceus being almost done with the Pokedex. Congrats.
or getting to Arceus, which isn't getting to Arceus like getting the Pokedex complete or something like that. I was seeing those messages, I just don't acknowledge them because I'm not that far in Arceus. I read them, I just don't say them out loud. Okay, there we go, I got the jump that time. Nailed it! Oh, I got all the boxes, let's go. Perfect, Crash is going home with a good, healthy head today. The native fortress, let's friggin' do it, dude. It's gonna be such a nightmare naming these videos because so many videos are gonna be like multiple levels. Like, hey, like the first video is gonna be the first, the beginning of the game all the way up to Papu. It's gonna be a nightmare naming the videos, but I'll, I'll figure that out. It can't be that hard. Be gone. Persona! Goodbye. I don't know why I just screamed Persona. I was just in the mood to scream Persona. Do not judge me. Speaking of Persona, I really am getting the itch to play Persona game, which is the next one I'm going to do is 4 Golden. I'm getting the itch. Chat, I'm not going to lie. The fact that Arena Ultimax is coming out, it's kind of making me want to play Golden. More than anything. Because I already confirmed that I'm not going to bother with Arena Ultimax on the channel. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should play Golden when it releases. It's not definite, though. We have to see how everything else is going. Plus, the Kirby game comes out like a week after. And Persona is a very long game. Two forty need two forty. Oh, okay, yeah, two forty total, and you need two. Uh, oh, dang it. Uh, you need two thirty nine for Arceus because he counts two forty. That makes sense. I need to be at, like, the edge, edge here. There we go. Again, I gotta get used to not having a, uh... Oh, dang it! I forgot to account for the jump. I killed him, but at what cost? Oh, goodbye. I'm gonna say this, chat. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> I'm, like, not paying attention. I'm too busy talking with chat. Imagine if it happened a third time, that would have been funny. Um... I'm gonna say this. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just stop talking until I'm done with this part, because I cannot- Apparently I can't commentate and jump at the same time. Anyway, I want to get my point across. Uh, basically, I feel like stream is going to come down to two ways. It's going to either be we get to high road, and high road takes me so long that I end my stream during or after high road, and then finish the game next stream. There's This game is not going to be more than two streams. I don't think there's going to be anything other than high road. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to see Coco's idle animation. I want to show it off for the YouTube playthrough while I talk about this. But, um... It's either we get the high road, I get so mad and don't beat it, or beat it, whichever one, and end my stream, finish the game next stream. So it takes two streams. Or we just finish the game today. Well, we'll see what happens, honestly. High road's really gonna be the only thing that's like, hey, I know this will be tricky. Maybe the final boss. The final boss is kind of hard too, if I remember right. Which I played the game relatively recently, so I remember it being kind of uh, difficult if you don't know what you're doing. At least it was when I played the game on the Insane Trilogy. By the way, I love Coco's idle animations, hence why I'm letting her do them. Yeah, adorable. But that is most likely how stream is gonna go, and by most likely, I mean like almost guaranteed. I promise you all, other than High Road and the final boss, there's nothing else in this game that's like overly difficult. Things are not easy, always, but they're not like overly difficult where we're gonna be on them for hours. Apparently those bounce, I had no idea. Also, as you can see, the levels in Crash 1 are really short. 
Oh, that, that scared me. I was not sure. I panicked because the TNT was there. Oh, hey, it's on the thing. Sorry, I had to look at something on my phone. By the way, we're not playing Crash 2 immediately after. That is not the next playthrough if we finish this game. Crash 2 is going to come soon, I promise. It's not going to be it right after this. It'll probably be like a play one playthrough in between this and Crash 2. Depending how long Forbidden West takes, maybe it'll take Forbidden West's place. Depending. If Forbidden West, it really depends how long that game takes. Which if it's anything like the- oh, goodbye. If it's anything like the prequel, then it should take like at least 40 hours. It took me 40 hours, I didn't even do everything in Zero Dawn. And I'm probably not gonna do everything in Forbidden West. Forbidden West? I will probably- I don't know. Again, it depends how long it takes. But, um... If it takes longer than I think it does, then maybe Crash 2 will take its place. Who knows? Oh, I should have, uh, whatever. Oh, goodbye. Looking forward to Valentia and Overclocked. I have good news and bad news. The good news is Valentia is coming. It's actually really close. If I say that, Raptor's gonna get the wrong idea, though. But, um... Valentia is probably gonna happen in, like, the next month. Most likely. I would say. Probably in the month of March. I would- I would wager. Maybe mid to late March, so we're looking at, like, maybe less than a month. It- again, it depends how long Forbidden West is. I don't know. I- assuming it's, like, around the prequel's length, then it should be, like, good. But, um, the bad news is, Overclocked is, um, not for a good while. Plus, I didn't say it's taking Forbidden West's place. I said it might. You know Valentia's close? You can't possibly know that, Raptor, because I never confirmed it. I said I really want to play it soon. I could change my mind, though. So, you don't, you don't know it's super close. As I said, I could play Crash 2 instead uh, after Forbidden West. The only way to know is to actually just find out when it happens, honestly. The only way to confirm. It's close, but that can mean like two months from now. Two months is considered close because of how long games are nowadays. But Overclocked is not happening for at least, like, a few months. Overclocked isn't, like, super far away, but I wouldn't say Overclocked is close. The point is, I myself don't even know, so I can't say when it is. By the way, this level's tricky. I don't hate this level, but it's really hard. Because of all the, like, spikes and the fire and, like, the, the shield guys and stuff. It's not- it's- it's an example of a level that's hard for me, but I don't hate it. One of the few examples I do not despise the level for being like, you know, really, really difficult. Oh, okay. I kind of hesitated because I knew the fire was coming up. Hi. Ba-ba-bum. Oh, I timed that. Oh, no, I didn't. I have a lot of lives. I'm fine. Oh, that hit me still? Wait, what? How did the physics of those flames work? Apparently, I don't know. This is a contender. Oh, why would I do that? Now I'm just being dumb. I'm kind of rushing because I keep having to do the same part over and over again. Which happens a lot in Crash Bandicoot. There we go. 
Oh, dang it, that comes out so fast. Come on, you're not even high road. Right, I, I gotta take my time. That was good. Oh, dang! I, I thought it was going down. I can never tell with these flames. 